All right, so I'm at the French Creek State Park shooting range, and it's a public shooting range here in Pennsylvania, and I want to talk about something that's kind of kind of the, the bad side of the shooting community. So here we are. Uh, they just redid that a couple years ago. All the benches, they're all nice cement. They got foam padding and everything to keep stuff from getting scratched. But what we're talking about is this part of the range. Now you've got 100 yards, you've got 50 yards. This is a 50 yard thing. There are supposed to be four stations. Um, the black, this, this stuff right here is there's supposed to be four of these are all nice and what you might have noticed is there's only two and that's because uh, people have misused the range and all this wood you see on the ground is what's left of the beam for the other two things uh, because what people do is people don't follow the range rules or at least common courtesy and they will stick targets directly onto the wood boards and we'll go around and we'll show and what happens is is they shoot the wood apart and then it falls down and then no one can use those bays uh, but then you, you come along here where it's completely gone and what happens is is people are so bad that the metal posts that are in the ground to uh, support them this one's actually fairly new, but people keep hitting metal posts and chipping away at them, and then they get they have to get replaced. And as you can imagine, the state of Pennsylvania is not very quick to replace stuff. So you get situations like this, where because people misuse the range, and they'll sit, uh, you'll see soda cans and stuff all over and it destroys the target bays. So, I mean, and you see here, everybody leaves their trash. Um, all this stuff was here when I got here. You know, soda cans and stuff just left. Um, I found detergent cans and stuff that people tie up and leave. Targets, looks like someone was using clamps or something. They shot that, broke that, left it. Uh, just a complete and total mess and there's a perfect example of somebody sticking a soda bottle to the wood and What happens is if you come out to the other side, you'll notice it's all shot out and pretty soon this these entire two bays are Unusable, but you see all the crap that people leave on the floor or on the floor on the ground You come over here and people have set up random stuff in the middle of the range, which you're not supposed to do, and they just leave it, and it's all over the place. You know, you're supposed to be shooting back there, but here I am, like 40 yards into the range, and you'll notice, all over the ground, shotgun shells. People have just left for someone else to clean up. Different stuff shotgun shells, different stuff, and here we walk up here. Now, the 100 yard range is a little bit better, but here you'll see more, more trash. And everywhere you look around here is trash. But we'll walk up to the 100 yard range, and this is a lot better because a lot of people come here and they wanna play around, so they shoot at 50 mainly because some of them aren't good enough to be able to hit anything at 100 yards because they're more worried about screwing around but you'll see all along here more plastic bottles more trash uh, apparently somebody was driving a vehicle along here which we're all the way back I, I don't know how well you can see but there's my car sitting in the parking lot and all this is, that's a footpath. And yet there was someone driving a vehicle. Now, I don't know exactly what they were doing. Maybe somebody was screwing around when no one was here. 90% uh, of the time, there is not a range officer. Uh, game wardens do show up on occasion and ticket people for messing around. But here you have more trash. 
So uh, I'm showing this today because I'm trying to bring awareness that this makes us look bad. Right now we're dealing with a lot of things going on where, you know, a lot of people are anti-gun. A lot of anti-gunners are trying to take away our Second Amendment rights. And I'm not saying we have to be on our very best behavior or, or cater to them, but when you see stuff like this, it makes us look bad. You know, when this is just another thing that if someone were to come here and they would see, well, look, you know, we put up a, a public range that's uh, all you need to get into is a hunting license or a like $30 a year range permit, very cheap. And, you know, can be a lot of fun for families and stuff. And, oh yeah, there's, there's the lid to a detergent bottle I was talking about. But this makes us look bad because instead of being able to show people, well, look, you know, we, we know how to take care of everything. We, we're polite. We clean up after ourselves. Instead, they come and they see this. And then you get maybe someone bringing their kid here for the first time, trying to get them into shooting. And, you know, a kid might want to start at a closer range because they're just starting out. And they can't because there's, you know, the whole row of tables and there's only basically two spots you can shoot at 50 yards now so it's going to be a lot less fun for a kid to try and shoot at 100 when they're just starting out so here's the video i wanted to make today kind of calling people out and saying look you know what uh you need to clean up after yourselves or what's going to happen is um and i've heard this before where they start shutting down ranges it gets to be the point where they've got to pay the game wardens to come in and keep an eye on this place and they'll just shut the ranges down. I'm pretty sure this ra this place used to have a shotgun section over on that side past that mound and they closed that and there used to be a 25 yard section that got closed that was further along there because people misused it. So. This is just my quick little rambling rant about how we need to start cleaning up after ourselves at these ranges and put on a good put out a good example for the people around you. So uh, that's my video and have a good day.